We have an international speaker in the house. We have an international speaker whose face you're going to see on television, whose face you're going to see right around on YouTube and Facebook, whose face you're going to see on many interviews in time to come. Congregation, I'm going to ask you to stand, please, and thanks. I'm going to ask you to stand in a proper political way, if you can. Hallelujah. Remember years ago, someone would have taken my and said, Turn up! <laughs> ready for the present worship, turn up! So, we have to be careful. When you take this pulpit, make sure you greet the congregation, protocol and properly. Because remember, we are going to places. There are some things I will not touch again. I will just say from the pulpit. Remember, we are not only up to the action. So, when you take the pulpit, Greet your brothers and sisters properly and protocol, and then you go. Because we are going places, we are not only of this building. And when you go out here, it tells if you are properly trained and if you are learning. So, if you don't practice, if you don't, whatever you learn, if you don't do it in the right protocol way at home, when you go out here, you will still do it the same way. You will say, no, I'm not going to lie that because I'm mistake, but no. The more than you stay, you will go there and dash it out same way. And listen, in case you don't know, I talk to you, my husband, and teach you what the protocol. Am I talking to you, honey? Because my husband, and I must show him how I am he's to correct me any way I correct. So don't believe you are the only one. If I am here and I can teach you what the protocol, you don't belong here. If I am here and I can't correct you and tell you where you sleep and go a little wrong and where you should pull up your socks and pick up, you don't belong here. And it's just the truth. There is protocol in doing things. And if you are in church for years, protocol, you know that protocol is protocol, okay? So there is point with protocol. So this speaker is an international speaker. I know you're looking for her, but I, if I were you, look through the room because she might just come down into a, uh, what is the name? Uh, part of that way, so that in Jordan, uh, yes. Parachute. Parachute. But this speaker is an international speaker. This speaker, you will see her face on TV very soon, some, some, someday. You're gonna see her in many interviews and, and, and talk shows. And congregation, in case you want to know who I'm talking about, I know you want to know who I'm talking about. You must say you're not easy. In case you want to know who I'm talking about, I'm gonna ask you to put your hands together. Put your hands together for none other. Our sister is gonna insult her. She not here, so we're gonna go put our hands right to where this Her sister. He's gonna escort her! I'm talking about none other than our own Deaconess Carrie Cunningham! Oh, a young evangelist for the future and to the future generation! Our sister is gonna escort her! I'm saying it one more time. I can't be able to like channel for an ice cream, and I don't like that. Our sister is gonna escort her! Put your hands together! But none other than our future evangelist, none other than Deaconess Kareem Cunningham, you pastor, Kareem Cunningham, you pastor. I didn't say she's a pastor of the church, that some of us don't like when she cuts off. Cut off. She will soon be the youth pastor in time to come. Yeah, I promise. Put your hands together.
Glory be to God, a wonderful leader. Pastor Calvin, I love the shoes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He can be seated. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, blessings to every one of you. Hallelujah, Jesus, in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am come to give you praise. And they that stumble and girded with strength, 
they that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry seized, so that the barren on board seven, and she that had many children is waxed feeble. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. Verse 8 and last. He raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the donkey to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Here is a portion of God's holy word, and we honor by saying, thanks be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Praise be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, we thank God for his word. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, Apostle touch some of my message. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, when she was telling you to worship, you don't see the thing as yet. Hallelujah, Jesus. So my topic is, I shall rejoice. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the subtopic, the subtopic for today is watch the finish. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. What it means to rejoice. Glory be to God. It means, glory be to God, to show, hallelujah, great joy or delight. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So you don't see the thing yet. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you don't have it already. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just touch your neighbor next to you and say that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I shall rejoice. Yeah. 
here. Hallelujah, glory be to God. So many things come my way. That is a backslide. But I'm still here today. And I'm still here rejoicing. Glory be to God. Because I know where God has brought me from. So many temptations come my way. I'm not talking about the pure, pure temptation. I'm talking about real, great temptation. Oh, my God. 
Lord. Come on, somebody thank him for the process. Hallelujah, Jesus. You feel the pain. Hallelujah, Jesus. You cry sometimes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that you shall come out victorious. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Even what occurred to me recently. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. I know it is it, it was for me to give up on God and backslide. But the devil get the shackles of his life. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said the devil get a shock of his life because he thought that I'm going to give up now. Yes. Hallelujah. All hope is lost. Hallelujah. They want me to curse God and die. Yes. Glory be to God, but I never curse God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It never come in my thoughts that I must give up or anything like that. Because I said to God that God, whatever I go through, I'm still going to praise you. Glory be to God. I'm still going to worship you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I tell God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said it was for me to give up and backslide. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because it comes with shame. It comes with depression. Hallelujah. Oppression. Hallelujah. All of those things it comes with. Hallelujah. Both by the help of God and by our pastor. Hallelujah. Pastor Calvin and all the members and all the, 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 the congregation, all the prayers that they have prayed. Hallelujah. Help to pull me, me through and my family as well. If it wasn't for the grace of God, hallelujah, Jesus, I would not be here standing. Hallelujah, if it wasn't for God. Hallelujah, Jesus. No, I can rejoice. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I said, no, I can rejoice. Hallelujah, I'm telling you, if I see that individual, I'm telling you, there is no hatred for the being. I am telling you that. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because God is helping me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because it's not the person. It's just a spirit that was operating through the individual. Hallelujah, Jesus. At, at the point when it occurred, hallelujah, glory be to God. I was bitter and hungry. But after a while, hallelujah, when God, when I get in the presence of God and, and I pray and see God and other pray, other I find myself getting free and freer in my spirit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So my prayer is, to, is for the person to get saved. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. To give their heart to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Not for me to curse and say evil over their life or speak anything evil over their lives. But I allow God to deal with them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Praise Him. Come on, somebody. As Psalm 35, verse 9 said, And my soul shall rejoice in the Lord. It shall exalt in His salvation. Hallelujah, Jesus. The enemy don't want us to rejoice. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants us to give up. Give up on the promises. Hallelujah, Jesus. God has promises, promises of so many things. And we wonder when God is going to come through. Hallelujah. All of us, hallelujah, at one point, when I wonder when God, when you're going to come through for me. Hallelujah. When you're going to show up for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, I know, know about it. Asaph in the Bible, he was envious against the wicked because he said the wicked was prospering. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so Asaph never had no peace. He never had no joy. Glory be to God. Because I said, God, the wicked are prosper. And it seems like I am not prospering. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's like my life is not going forward. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Asaph 
was envious against the prosperity of the wicked. Glory be to God. He's after he is away into the presence of the Lord. Glory be to God. He recognized that, oh, I was foolish. Because, hallelujah, Jesus, there end with the destruction. Hallelujah, mighty God. Let us wait for a turn. Hallelujah, Jesus. Everybody will not get your blessing one time. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings and eagle. They shall run and not go weary. They shall walk and not fear. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let us wait for a turn. Teach us, Lord, how to wait. Glory be to God. Sometimes when we wait, we get weary. Hallelujah, Jesus. We get tired, we get fed up because we can't bother to wait so long. Because at 10 years, we are praying for this thing. Hallelujah. Five years, we are praying for this thing. And it seems like nothing is shifting in my favor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. You might be saying that you are done. Hallelujah. God is not going to use me no more. Hallelujah. I have made mistakes. God is not going to use me no more. Hallelujah, Jesus. But that's just a lie from the devil. Hallelujah, Jesus. He said, I shall rejoice. Somebody worship in the house of the Lord. Somebody give a praise. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to steal our worship, steal our joy, steal our praise. Glory be to God. That's his job. Hallelujah. That's the work of the enemy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our job is to pray. Our job is to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Our job, hallelujah, is to seek him. Glory be to God. Our job is to go into fasting. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To seek the Lord with all of our hearts. Hallelujah, Jesus. That he can shift things in our favor. Glory be to God. So the enemy comes to destroy. Destroy our peace of mind. Glory be to God. Want us to feel aware of ourselves. Feel like we are not worthy. Glory be to God. He wants me to be less than. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants to deceive us. Telling us lies. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The enemy talked to all of us. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Telling us that we will not come out to anything holy. Yes. Hallelujah. But they will watch the finish. Oh, Glory be to God. I said, watch the finish. Because I shall rejoice. Hallelujah, Jesus. He want us to tell us that God will not use us. Nothing is going to come out of us. We are nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. The devil want to tell us that, listen, you are broke. Hallelujah. Disgusting. Good for nothing. Hallelujah. You have to say, God will love you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You want to tell her that, listen, you know, say your sister, look for you, but I cut your eyes. She don't like you. Hallelujah, Jesus. She has something against you. Glory be to God. The devil will tell her that, listen, no, now go out to the church. You have to pack up your, your luggage. Pack up your bag and go. Glory be to God. The drum set and the keyboard is not here. Hallelujah. Go to a bigger church. And things is going on. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. This space too large, too small, is large in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And some of us think that, you know, we are full of anointing. Hallelujah, Jesus. So then just said, this place too small. Hallelujah. This not reach nowhere. Glory be to God. You're bigger than that. You're not going to go forward if you're here. Glory be to God. You're bigger than that. 
out for golden numbers. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You can have four, or you can have thousands of people here. And it's over five out of the thousand are remnants. Glory be to God. Are those people that stand up? Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. So don't believe because it's thousands of persons. Hallelujah. You see, it's all of them is saying God either. There are so many witches and warlock in the congregation. Personal and lusting. They are on assignment for the devil. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you think they come. Hallelujah, Jesus. Then I lift them on. And I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you don't know what is in your heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Their assignment sometimes is to come to destroy the pastor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Try to take over. Hallelujah, Jesus. They come to church too. Glory be to God. Brother Walker, come up in the church as well. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. They will come to us and say, God said, and God will say nothing. Glory be to God. So we are give you a word. And if you don't know God, you believe the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So don't watch the numbers. I know that Apostle is not watching the numbers. Hallelujah. As she always said that there is a remnant here. Glory be to God. And you know, it's really, hallelujah, I really am here about 10 years now. And it is really true that there is a remnant here. Glory be to God. And I'm a part of the remnant. I am proud to say that I am a part of the remnant. And I am not going nowhere. I am planted here. Glory be to God. Unless God move me. Hallelujah. And send me somewhere. But I'm a part of the remnant. Glory be to God. Anywhere. Hallelujah. I go. Hallelujah. I'm the remnant. Because I am the church. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
but I shall rejoice. I shall be glad. I shall rejoice in my God. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I shall rejoice and be glad in Him. I don't know about you, but I have to rejoice. Hallelujah, Jesus. I have to rejoice. He has took me out of darkness and put me in His marvelous light. I was not like this when I come. Hallelujah to Christ. Or before I come to Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I was not like this. I was looking this beautiful. Glory be to God. I was not, I was not ugly still, but you know, hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord beautified the meek with salvation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I am beautiful if there's a word. Hallelujah, like that. Glory be to God. I am beautiful. Hallelujah. So even if in your eyes I'm not beautiful. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know in God's eyes I am beautiful. I am a royal priesthood. Holy and peculiar. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, mother God, I look back. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Beautiful ashes. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
that's glory be to God. Talk to me, man. At one point, my boss asked me, say, why did I tell you that? Your, your mental is strong, though. And then I said, why you say that? Because so many men come to you and talk some things, the pastor that talk about marriage and why we don't want to marry you and all of them things there. Eh? And he said, boy, you're strong mentally. Well, <laughs> so I said, I never really said anything. I just smiled. I shame me. I never really said anything. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because I know that it is God that allowed me to stand. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I didn't mess up. I didn't go to bed with any of them. Hallelujah. I didn't take nobody's number and call nobody about food and tell nobody to love them. I don't have those stuff. But I just, hallelujah, I love men company. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes. And I think, I think I, I rock with them even more. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. As a pastor said, I'm a woman. Hallelujah, Jesus. Part of their name, their mind. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you know, at one point, you know, the enemy would want me to hear mine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. And even what occurred to me recently, the devil would want me to hear mine. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I choose not to hear them. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said I choose not to. And because I know what the enemy wants to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just said, eh, yes, devil. I hear you all, I hear me. And I said, no. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love to reason with them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, some of them will come and, and, and pick up the argument. I know if they go cross too much, they cross their line. Hallelujah. We just deal with it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But if, but if they in them, them right, you know, line. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that I will just talk, you know. And, and, and I know to reason with them, you know. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know to reason with them. I will never smoke them weed. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said, can't stop smoke. And I say, no. Why? At least, yeah, bring up an eye and just never calm. So they say, then you have a smoke throw the whole day. Then when you finish smoke, the problem is still there. And I say, well, I'm going to get one more and just smoke it. And I say, they need to stop smoke, man. Hallelujah. So I talk to them and I condemn them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I just love them for that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Knowing that our people person. Hallelujah, Jesus. We can't look down on them because we were in darkness as well. Hallelujah, Jesus. As I said, we were in darkness as well because of the grace of God. Hallelujah, Jesus, why we are here. It's nothing about us, people of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we shall rejoice. Hallelujah, Jesus. I brother just ask him what to stand. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody worship him. Hallelujah. Just give him praise. Hallelujah. Just give him worship. Hallelujah. Just adore him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just lift him up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Make a joyful night unto the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy lads, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing and into his courts with praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody worship him. Somebody glorify the name of Jesus in the house today. Hallelujah. Let us bless his name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Angels, bow before him. Heaven and hurt, have to adore him. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship the king of all kings, the Lord of all lords. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just bow your heads with me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we just want to thank you. Lord, we just want to worship and adore you. Father God, we just want to lift you, oh God. Father God Almighty, we pray, Almighty God, that your people will rejoice. Hallelujah, mighty God in this season, mighty God. Lord God, in spite of what we are going through, mighty God, we pray, mighty God of Daniel, that we shall rejoice, mighty God. Holy Spirit, we pray, mighty God.
mighty God of Daniel, that you will breathe upon us, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, Father, for you that become a work in us, mighty God will continue. Lord God Almighty, Father, you are not through with us yet, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, Father, help us to wait. Lord God Almighty, on the promises. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. But Lord God Almighty, you are coming through for us. Lord God Almighty, my seed long. Lord God Almighty, Jesus. Oh God, we might be weary. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. But Lord God, we pray, mighty God of Daniel, that you strengthen us, mighty God. Oh God Almighty, strengthen each and every one of us, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you, Lord. Oh God Almighty, for what you're about to do in our lives. Lord, God, we thank you for the turnaround. We thank you, mighty God of Daniel, for all that you're about to do in our lives. Because, Lord, it is not by might, not by power, but it's by your spirit, Lord. Mighty God of Daniel, Jesus, we don't know when God or all you're going to do it, but God, we know that you're going to come through. Because God, you're not a God that should lie. Lord God Almighty, your word is true. Your word is nay and yea, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, God, we stand on your word, oh God Almighty. We stand, Almighty God, on your promises, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give your praise, oh God. We give your honor, mighty God of Daniel, Father, as we see your people, almighty God, in your blood. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there anyone, hallelujah, who have not given their life to the Lord as yet? Glory be to God. Anyone in the house? Glory be to God on Facebook. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm just going to ask you to pray this prayer if you're not saved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord, Jesus. Lord I repent of my sins. Father, forgive me, O oh God. Lord, I know I have sinned and come short of your glory. Come into my heart, Holy Spirit. Lord, I want to change. I want to be different. Come into my heart. Make me whole, oh God. Father, wash me. Father, remove everything that is unlike you. Purge me, Heavenly Father. I want to be clean. I want to be washed, oh God. Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Lord, I thank you for coming to my heart. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Father, as I surrender my will, Lord, I thank you that I am saved in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody praise him. Somebody worship him. If you have said that prayer, you are saved. Hallelujah, because it's not baptism that saves you. It's your confession. Hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is your Lord. Hallelujah, as long as you repent and confess your sins, then you are saved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So the second step will be baptism. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Praise be to God. God bless you all. Hallelujah, the hand over to my apostle. Hallelujah. And over, you're going to call those who need prayer. And I come against the spirit of fear that is still lingering in you, a little fear is still lingering in you. And it's trying to tell you as if you are not, cannot flow in the prophetic. Yes, even when God uses you to speak unto him and his angels, you are flowing in the prophetic. You are confirming the name of the church and saying that God says, he has given us beautiful ashes. 
and you are flowing in the prophetic. So you are going to call those who want to pray. Because the apostle is going to pray for two requests, but you are the one that is going to pray for those who are here today, and I will stand with you. Because I am not the only carrier of the anointing, and you are the younger generation. And yes, we know that some of us follow us and mature, and so we're holding on this thing away for a long time, but sometimes we still don't know enough. We never reach, we never attain. I want to push the young generation. I want to stand with the young generation. Your waistline is stronger than my own, and I want to push you. Oh, he can talk about, he can talk about. And if you realize what God do for the 11 year this year, the 11 year, you always been pulling me out to preach. And I always been pushing you guys. The pulpit is one pulpit. So if a person preaches Monday, they can't expect to get next month and the other month because that's not how God flow. But I will push people and get myself out of the way. You're going to call those who want prayer or want to be prayed for to come. And you're going to pray. And I will be standing behind you praying and help praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm just going to ask number one, have you given prayer? You can come at this time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we worship you, mighty God. Lord God Almighty, Father, we pray, mighty God of Daniel, Jesus. That you will touch you, mighty God of Daniel, Lord, your Jesus. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we pray, mighty God of Daniel, that you will breathe upon them, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray, mighty God of Daniel, Jesus, that you will cover them under your blood, mighty God of Daniel, cover them, Lord God Almighty, from every trap, oh God, every plans of the enemy, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Cover their minds, oh God, Father, we speak excellence over them. We decree and declare, mighty God, that they shall shall live and not die, but live, mighty God, to declare, mighty God, the works of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we see them under your blood. Fathers, we give you thanks and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, mighty God, we pray for your man's servants. Oh, Jesus, we pray they touch your servant, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty Father, breathe upon your servant. Lord God Almighty Father, you know, mighty God, what your man's servant is coming through yes, even now. Yes. Lord God Almighty, you know everything about him. Lord God Almighty Father, we pray, mighty God, that you will lift him up, mighty God, in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. We pray, mighty God of Daniel, Lord, that you will bring him out, Lord God, whatever situation that is in mighty God we pray Lord God Almighty that you will deliver your servant oh God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God Almighty Father breathe upon him Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Lord God Almighty Father use him for your glory oh God Almighty in the name of Jesus Lord God anoint him oh God Lord God cover him from the throne of his head Lord God to the very full of his feet Lord God Almighty, separate him, Lord, in your blood, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree and declare over his life that no weapon that is formed against him shall be able to prosper. Lord, I have told mighty God that rise up, oh God, against him, oh God, in judgment. Father, we condemn them, oh God. Father, I release peace over him. I release joy over him. I decree and declare that he shall rejoice. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Breathe upon him, God, and we decree and declare a financial breakthrough for your man's servant. In the name of Jesus, bless him, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, come through for him, God. Oh, Jesus, come through for your servant. Come through for your servant, oh God. In the name of Jesus, come through for your servant, Daddy. Oh, Mighty God of Daniel, you see everything. God, you know everything. Oh, God Almighty Father, you know it all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, sit upon him, God. Sit upon him, God.
you, Lord. Watch the finish. Hallelujah. Watch the finish. Watch the finish. God is going to bring you out. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's going to bring you out. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's going to come through for you. Watch the finish. Hallelujah. I said, watch the finish. God is talking to you. Watch the finish. Jesus, touch your servant, Lord. Touch your servant, Jesus. Anoint him afresh, Lord. Anoint him afresh, Jesus. Praise be 
things of God. We thank you for your daughter, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are going to help her, God. You're going to deliver her in the mighty name of Jesus. God, give her peace. Mighty God, give her comfort, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because God, only you alone know what she's going through, mighty God. Father God Almighty, have your way in her life. And let your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name. Mighty God. 
that he shall rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty Father, we thank you for your worship, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, anoint him to so worship you even more, God Almighty. I pray that God when he's drawn, oh God, are on his low, mighty God of Daniel, and Lord, he will continue to worship you, mighty God of Daniel. Lord God Almighty Jesus, he shall dance. Lord God Almighty Jesus, like never before. Mighty God of Daniel, Father, we pray and lift him up, we pray and use him. Lord God Almighty, do you even bring forth your word? Mighty God, lift him up, Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we need more men. Lord God Almighty, to preach, to lift up the bloodstained banner, oh God. We pray that, Lord, you will use him to draw other men unto you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as you strengthen him, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we thank you for your servant. We thank you, God, for all that you're about to do in his life, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, Father, you know the plans that you have towards him. Plans of good and not of evil. And so, God, we thank you for coming through for your servant. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh, God Almighty, for our sister, Beb, oh, God. Oh, God Almighty Jesus, we pray, oh, God, that you touch her, Lord. Mighty God, we pray you strengthen our mighty God. Strengthen our body, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, touch our mind, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever burden, mighty God, that your daughter is carrying, Lord, I pray you help her, Lord God. Oh, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, lift every burden. Mighty God of Daniel, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God Almighty, Father, you know everything that she went through, mighty God of Daniel, are a bit through. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, strength, our Lord. You see the task, oh God. You know, mighty God of Daniel, that it's not easy. But Lord God, I pray that you will help her, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, Father, we decree and declare a financial blessing for your daughter, mighty God. We call for money into your daughter's hand. Oh God Almighty, Father, bless her family. Lord God Almighty, lift up her family. Mighty God of Daniel, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, we declare salvation, Lord, over our household. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, as you cover her, mighty God, as you cover her family, mighty God, as we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray that Lord God Almighty will touch Pastor Doctor right now, mighty God. Lord God Almighty, touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, you have called her and chosen her, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you know, mighty God of Daniel, Father, what you have called her to do, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, mighty God, we pray and touch her. God Almighty, Father, we pray that God, you will strengthen her, mighty God of Daniel, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, lead her, God, direct her, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, Father, we pray that you will do a shifting in our life, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, a shifting in our health, in our finance, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, a shifting in our mind, oh God Almighty, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I decree and declare that she shall rejoice. In the name of Jesus, her family shall rejoice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for what you're about to do for them, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, I have not seen, heard, I've not heard, neither have we entered the heart of man. The things that you have in store for them, mighty God. Oh God Almighty Father, we thank you for coming through for them. Mighty God of Daniel, you see them with your blood. Mighty God of Daniel, Fathers, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Father, as I hold this bright shawl in my right hand, Lord, 
the main representation of this prayer shawl is the talit. I always do say that the hem, like the hem that was on Jesus' garment, that the woman was the issue of God's touch. So these prayer shawls are not for show and trim show. These prayer shawls are for persons who are praying. Because if you have a prayer shawl and you are not a praying person, it makes no sense. It takes no effect. I pray today, Lord, that as I held this prayer shawl in my hands, that whoever this shawl might show over once in a while as the Holy Spirit would be, they might be sick, not feeling well. Because of the anointing that you are going to rest upon this prayer shawl now, it's not just going to be a piece of material with a talis on the hand, but it's going to be anointed. So God, I pray that as your woman servant will use this prayer shawl to tie her ways as the instruction was given Simone. I expect you to do better than that when prayer is going on and that's why sometimes some of you vex with me. But I expect you to do better than that. It's too, right? is not a God. Leave her, let you move around as long as she's not jumping in the hole or the fire. This little baby is not a God, and if you're going to start behaving like she's a God, God will not will do something when you don't like. I have to speak as all God has me to speak. And that's why sometimes when you don't feel nice about me, but that's how God has me. You shouldn't be shouting, I'm up here praying for your mother. You should have so much level of respect. Leave her. Our, our grandfather is right here watching her. Our brother is right here. Just leave her and let she flow. She's not a god. A lot of times she's doing things and all that you in the family get distracted like Raya is a god. God said to tell you today in beauty fashion, Raya is not a god. And if you fix, I don't care. God said Raya is not a god. Stop behaving like this little baby is a god. She's my goddaughter, but she's not my God. So better respect, man. I'm praying for your mother out here. When your baby is causing destruction and disturbance, just take her and go outside a little, and you can step outside and walk her and you get a, a different breeze out here. Don't do that to the church of the living God when flowing, preaching and flowing over. Do better. Don't vex with me sometime and some vex I'm gone, but that's so God of me. You have to take authority. I know that some things we don't want me to take go in the kitchen or bathroom go with one turn, but that's not how God flow otherwise. The Holy Spirit is not peace. Father, anoint your woman servant again. Rise her up again. Take her to another level again. Let she arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon her right now. Let her take the authority that she used to have. God, everything that the devil would want to come to tell her, let she tell the devil that he's a liar. Let she go back to the place knowing who she is. This prayer shawl is not just a piece of anointing that we buy at the store. It's anointed for the purpose. Every pain, every ache that she feels, when she girds her waist, when she throws it over her, when she's praying. Because the prayer shawl represents prayer. And as I say, it's not a flip show. So if you're not a praying person, you don't need a prayer shawl. It's not for style. If you need a style, you just buy a scarf. Father, we thank you today that the things that is going on in our life and even in our home will never be the same. Thank you that you're going to even have her to take authority and speak that it will cause vexation for a moment. But after a while when the Holy Spirit chips in, those around her will know that it's God speaking and it's the truth. Not only in her home, but wherever you send her in the nook and cranny of the world, it doesn't matter who feeding her and who closing her and I hope she don't compromise because she's getting anything from anybody. She will tell them the truth. Because some people you're going to have to tell them the truth and they're going to have to disappear. And if they are feeding you soup or no soup, soup or no soup, oh yeah, you can't talk about meat or no meat, money or no money, I'm going to tell you the truth. Love me or leave me. Stay or the highway. 
Father, I thank you today that the fire of God is permeating through this. And this prayer shop is not the same as it was just born or as it just came. It's different. Even if someone not feeling well and she rests it over them and pray, there will be a difference. These are the boys. You bless them already, right? You are the one that is going to bless them. I'm not going to go beyond my word. Yes, I might be a rough pastor, but I'm protocol. Pray over the other one. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to thank you right now. Mighty God, I decree and I declare that this is not olive oil no more. Yes, Lord. But I declare, mighty God, that this is the blood of Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel, whatever she's going to use, oh God, it to do. Mighty God of Daniel, Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you for healing, mighty God, and deliverance. Oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your miracle that you're going to work through. Oh, mighty God, yes, these Lord. olive oil, oh God, that represent the blood of Jesus. Thank you for testimonies, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, God, we thank you. Mighty God, for your healing power, your miraculous power, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah, glory to the Lord. Lord. to tell you, these holy boys drink more than all you anoint. And when I was there, I hear the Lord say, I must search for an olive oil that you can put over your vegetable when certain uncertainty. You know what I'm talking about. Pastor Dabri, listen to me now. Are you going to listen, Pastor Dabri? The Lord spoke to me a while ago and tell me that I'm a, I'm a, there's an olive oil that, I, that I, I did somebody told me about and I get it, use it over my vegetable. I'm not saying that these can use, but these are going to be finished. So I'm just telling you what drop into my spirit. The Lord said the same olive oil that that person did buy for you and give you a huge bottle. But it's more an eating real salad to put on salad. So the Lord said, let you get it. And then what you're going to do, you're going to get it. And this guys is going to be a jumbo bottle and you're going to have it to put in everything. In your juice and over your salad and everything. Hallelujah. And that's what the, the Lord just chopped that in my spirit while she was praying. And I'm not saying that he's going to do that, but I'm just saying what I get in my spirit. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. before you who have the prime. Lord God, I put a friend of Sister Beverly before you who is asking for prayer. Lord, I might not know what is happening with them, whether it's outward or inward, whether it's family situation, whether it's work situation, whatever, financial situation. I don't know what they're going through, but today as I lift the dear names, and I lift the prayer request as they ask the church to pray. I'm going to ask you when I'm praying, you pray quietly. God knows your heart and he knows what you're saying. Father, touch their family, touch their life, touch their finances. Help them to arise to another level. Thank you for what you're about to do and going to do in their life. Father, let there be a turnaround. I speedily turn around now. Mighty God. Just like when you speed up that business place and turn back everything around. And even the favor that left those people, they get back the favor. Thank you that you're going to do it for this family. You're going to do it for the people in here. You're going to do it for the people on the outside listening. You're going to do it for those on YouTube and live right now listening. Thank you for doing it for them. And I thank you that as the request goes up, they will call back their family member and say, thank you for prayer. We have seen a change. Lord, the children this week, who is going to take their pet exam? I put them before you. 
But I know that one of the most things that affect a lot of children when it's exam time is fear. Because the enemy do it to me too. Even when I was big and going to college, when it's exam time, you want to put fear on me. But God, I break the spirit of fear over there. I break the spirit of fear over there. All those of you that are going to take your fifth exam, come back up here. Come back up here right now. I break the spirit of fear over there. I break, if they don't want to go, don't force them. If they don't want to go, don't force them. You don't force people to come for prayer. They know what they hear clearly. I break the spirit of fear. And Father, I thank you, Lord, as you are allowing your anointing to release one more time. I thank you that they are going to come out successful. Since week when my daughter let me know that my granddaughter was on the honor roll. And so overseas they do things a little different. While they are on their honor roll, they do something like a, like a graduation team for them. And then right after that, I get a text. See my, 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 my biggest granddaughter. She, was, she, she went to do her pre, you know, like take her pictures and, and, and put on a gown. You know, you do that before the, the graduation time. And I started to say, look at me, having big, big granddaughter graduating from Campion College. I remember when I was a little girl like she. I never know that I would have a baby, 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 a she said, Grandma, I'll be going to, um, what, what they call it, six for me, so far as a doctor. Going to six for me, say, what is for me, Jesus? Then they will not leave me, really grow big, so I have somebody, and they have somebody, I'm going to six for Oh, God is so good. And I noticed when God lifts me, He lifts my children and lifts my grandchildren. Each time He lifts me, He lifts my son and give him another promotion, lift my daughter and give another promotion. Lift my grandchildren, put them into good school. God is a awesome God. It's not only money God gives me. It's not only money God gives you. No, not only money. My guest finished and I've been cooking and bowl from last week. And so and I get blessed with more than the guest money. When somebody was coming to the suburb for me, I mean I said they 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 they, they, they something they run out. Um sister that you know what you think about it, the cement run out. Yes. I mean I said no other way people get the cement. Else, I'm going to put myself in trouble with somebody else's money. I mean, I'm going to like those people's money. And I used that money by the cement. By the cement. It was $8,000. And I used that by, I think it's five bag of cement. Am I right, Pastor Calvin? And when I buy the five bag of cement, you know what I got to do? I don't bother you buy no gas. I just use coal. You must have a bag of coal or a bag of coal. And, um, and I buy the, I make the workman get the cement to come, 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 come on the work for roll on. Somebody said let the work roll on. Anybody stop the work, you know, if you stop the work physically or physically, or spiritually, if you let the work go on. Yes. Hallelujah. And so, you know, if you have big money for the work roll on. All, all four bag of cement, three bag of cement, two bag of cement, you can start the work. Anyhow, I, 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 I do that, and you know what God do? God make me get back. The money to buy my big yard. Somebody said, God, you're good, you're good. I don't know if you said like me, but I tell you, say you're good, feeling bad. He understand my language. You don't have to talk like me. He understand me, I make me. God, you're good, till you're bad. So we use that by the cement, make the man get to work, and God make me get my big yard's money. I'm God, kind of know me too, you know, me we can't tell you, go for the goal and buy some more cement. I don't have to you know. I don't have to be here. That's why I come when make chicken stay one side and eat a couple of tin mackerel. You know me not tin mackerel, I don't say tin mackerel. I don't care who no one loves tin mackerel. I eat it all from Christmas Day. I don't care who makes it be here. If you look around, you know who makes it be here. Because I'm a lamb and can't have lamb. I eat tin mackerel from Christmas Day. I don't know what kind of day. I eat Christmas Day. Every day is Christmas Day. So you know what I do? I just cook up some tin mackerel from Christmas Day because I want to show God. Say, God, anything rich me, I will take it. And you see the day when they call back in there, I just go some bitch again. God is gonna bless you. God is gonna bless you. Hallelujah. God is gonna bless you. Father, you're gonna pass. Okay? 
You didn't study, right? You never study hard. You ever take pen? Say you never study. You listen to it. Remember your program and roll, you know? The scripture says, study to show thyself a fool. If I had no work, man, be ashamed. You study a little bit. Look like you have a photographic brain. You want a photographic brain, me just look at something. Let me tell you what we do when we used to go back to college. Come in late for a post yet, not get finished to finish the study point. We don't sweat out the thing and we pass it out. Hey, Jesus, pull it up. You know when you see me, when you sweat, how you make your pass? My pass? Yes. Father, you're going to be successful, okay? Just take off everything you have one and don't know that. Strip off everything you have one into your mind. Okay? Life is going to carry you, okay? The study. Jesus have mercy on what is coming out in Sunday. You must say the five and two one like you can't experience those kind of studies. The study. I'm praying boss, man. Come and pray for them, man. I'm praying boss. I'm praying boss. Look here. Look here. You're gonna come on successful. You hear me? Come on, I'm praying. Yes, I'm here. Like Holy Mango. I'm praying boss. You have a take pen too? I'm so let's see. It's a little sweet. You see that pasta? Yeah? One just a prayer, it just a prayer, three times they come up. I saw that little pasta yeah, stay. One of them are one family. Twin and the twin brother. And then they cousin this. I saw them see it. Father, touch them again. They're going to preach the word. Yes, they're going to declare the word. Because they love you. As you mentioned prior, these four are always run out. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to come up on time. No worries, sir. Here? Yes. You got to go after your time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's up yourself. Things are going to go on for you. You hear me? Things are going to go on for you. Somebody, you, you may stand. Anybody else? You want me to pray for you? Anybody else? Hallelujah.